Hi readers and writers, welcome to our lesson today. Today we will be doing some spelling to complement our reading. Materials! For today, you will only need to grab your thinking cap. Here are today's two learning targets. I can read the high frequency words next, says, still, want, and ways. And I can segment, blend, and spell CVCE words like strike. Let's get started. Transition song. Gather round together, together, together. Gather round together, together, let's go. Stand up and let's think about what we've learned. Let's make some great connections with letters and sounds. Fluency. It's time to play another round of high frequency word go fish. This practice will help us to lock these words into our brains. Do you have your fishing rod and are you ready to get started? Go ahead and cast your line out into the water and reel it back in and take a peek at your word. What did you catch? Still, that word does play fair. Go ahead and cast out your line or use your net and try to catch another fish. Reel it back in and take a peek. Want. Let's go fishing again. What did you catch? Next. That word also plays fair. Just two more words to catch. Cast out your line. Reel it back in and look at your word. What is it? Says. Just one more to catch. You can reach down with your net and grab it. And what did you catch? Ways. Nice job catching and reading those high frequency words. Transition song. Now it's time to listen, to listen, to listen. Now it's time to listen to some sounds and some words. We hear sounds to spell words and then we can read words. It's time to read some words. Now look how smart we can be. Word work. It's time to read some words now. Let's take a look at this first word. Hmm. Wait. I notice that silent E at the end. So I know the vowel I is going to say its name. Tap this word out with me. P -er -im. Prime. That's it. I didn't say a sound for the letter E because it's silent. So I heard that the word prime had four sounds. Let's put the word prime into our four sound boxes. Point to each box to show me where each sound belongs. P, er, I'm, prime. And that E goes outside of the box because it's silent, but it is waving its wand and telling the I to say I. Here is another word for us to read again. I see that magic E outside of the word. So I know that will make the I say it's a long vowel sound, I. Tap this word out with me. St -er -i -k. Strike, that's it. How many sounds were there in the word strike? Five, mm-hmm. That E is silent, but there are five other sounds. Let's put those five sounds into our sound boxes. Here we go. S, T, R, I, K. Strike. 
Again, that E goes outside of the box because it's silent, but it is still working hard to make the I say I. Here is our last word for today. Let's look at it closely. I noticed that silent E at the end, so think about what that is going to do to the vowel A. That A will say its long sound, A. Let's tap it out together. W A St. Waste. There were four sounds in the word waste. Let's put those four sounds into our sound boxes. Can you help me out? W A St. Waste. Again, that E goes outside of the boxes because it's silent but it is working hard to wave its wand and make the A say A. Closing reflection. Nice job today. Let's think about this question together as we reflect on our learning. How does knowing the syllable type, whether it's open or closed, help you to figure out what the vowel sounds are? It can help us know which vowels to pronounce and which ones are silent. As you are reading this week, keep your eyes open for our new high frequency words. Still, next, want, says, and ways. I'll see you again soon. Until then, happy reading and writing.